What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and as most of you all already know, last Thursday, the search for Quentin Simon was called off due to weather conditions. I believe Tropical Storm Nicole was headed towards the area. Don't get me wrong, it hit Florida, but remnants were supposed to be affecting Savannah as well. So they called off the search on Thursday, and they said that they would resume on a Monday, and Monday is here, and now they have resumed the search for Quentin Simon within the landfill, but they also released this statement. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. Today, we begin another week of searching the landfill for Quentin Simon. The photos and videos we've shared over the last four weeks show you what a massive yet painstaking effort this has been for every single person involved. We have asked the teams on this search to endure the physical, mental, and emotional burden of reporting to this landfill day after day, knowing that the chances of finding Quentin's remains are low. And we are proud of every member of the Chatham County Police Department, FBI, GBI, Chatham County Sheriff's Office, and Georgia Department of Natural Resources, who has performed this duty with the unmatched professionalism. At this point, we do not have a scheduled end date for the landfill search. I repeat, at this point, we do not have a scheduled end date for the landfill search. Meanwhile, our investigative team continues working diligently to uncover and collect every piece of evidence relevant in this case. We remain committed to keeping you updated about our search for Quentin, and we promise we will continue to share important developments as quickly as we can. Okay, um, for one, let me just say I am glad that they are back out there on this search. And before I got into that statement, I was talking about Tropical Storm Nicole because we know that they stopped the search early last week because of the weather conditions. But I've talked to a couple of people in the area, and I don't think that the weather actually got that bad there. I think they got a little bit of rain one day, but that's it. And don't get me wrong. You know, that's, that does not help the search for Quentin at all, of course. You know, it doesn't make the search for Quentin any easier, but it could have been worse. So it, the weather was not really that bad at all. So, I mean, that's just a minor detail, but we have to take whatever good news we can, especially in this case. And I, I am, I've been extremely discouraged about this case over the past few days, but you know, just knowing that weather conditions weren't as bad as expected, that's a win in my books. And that thing, that makes things a lot better. So, you know, hopefully this week is the week that we hear something, that they find something. And I'm glad that they're back out there. Another thing that makes me happy and gives me confidence is they said that they do not have a scheduled end date for this search. I mean, obviously, they can't search out there forever. They're going to have to stop at some point if they don't find something. But at the very least, they don't. The, the end is not in sight yet. Let's put it like that. So I don't want to put, you know, a time stamp on it or anything. But this could be going on for weeks. I don't know when they're going to stop, but they don't have any end date scheduled as of yet. So we it's very likely that a month from now, we could be sitting here having the same conversation. And you know, we knew going in that this was going to be a tough task. And they warned us, you know, on day one that this could take weeks. And it's been weeks. And you know, and the days keep going by. And the days may seem like they fly by for us, but I can assure you for the people out there digging through garbage, looking for the remains of a toddler, those days are long and grueling and painful and probably emotional. I can't even put myself 
in these people's shoes. But they also said that they're still exploring, you know, other avenues and their investigative team continues to work diligently to uncover and collect every piece of evidence. I wonder what evidence they're collecting now. Like, I wonder what's going on with the investigative team. What leads are they following up on? I can guarantee you they're all over YouTube. I can guarantee you these investigators are all over YouTube listening to Billy Joe because Billy Joe has been on YouTube. You know, <laughs> the other day it was like three or four o'clock in the morning here and Billy Joe was just on someone's live stream. And I mean, I don't know if that's going to help because she may say some things that may get her in trouble. But hey, you know that it is what it is. But I don't know what type of, you know... I'm just wondering, am I, you know, like, what are the investigative teams, like, what are they looking into? Are they following up leads on Danny, the boyfriend? Are they still laser focused on Leilani? Or are they following up with other possibilities? You know, I, I really wish that I could be a fly on the wall in one of their team meetings or something to know what avenues they have searched and what routes they have taken. Because... This case is a rabbit hole. Almost every true crime case, there's a rabbit hole that you can go down. You know what I mean? And us YouTubers go down these rabbit holes. And you as the audience, you go down these rabbit holes with us. So imagine what it's like to be one of these team members on the investigative team who, who, are, who have access to even more information than us. You know, I wonder what their conversations are like. And I wonder what they think right now. You know what I mean? Like, because <clears throat> the reason why I'm so curious about it is because if they do not find Quentin's remains, then how much of a case do they really have against Leilani? In my opinion, there's a big possibility that if they don't find any remains, Leilani walks. So the investigative team, I'm assuming they, they have a really a, a tough task right now as well because they have to be thinking about it, th about it from this angle as well. Like, how can we make a solid case against anyone in the disappearance of this child if we do not have the remains? So, whew, who knows? But I can tell you right now, it seems like we have reached a calm point in this case. But I feel like it, it's going to explode and erupt again. Anytime now. I don't know when. But I expect that this case is going to erupt again. And when it does, I'll be there. And even if it doesn't, I will still be here bringing you all the updates in this case. So ring that notification bell so you can be notified of all the real updates in the Quentin Simon case. Hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. And as always, I'll talk to you all in the next video.